how far can Conor Ben go? When I think of Conor Ben, I think of passion, intensity, I think of a massively improved fighter. Still only 24, there's plenty of improvement left for Conor Ben. He had very little amateur career, turned pro in 19 and pretty much had to learn on the job. There were plenty of early career difficulties that saw Conor showcase a raw and reckless side. Although very entertaining, this is the style who needed some real improvement if he was going to go on and make the same impact at world level as his own man did. A turning point in Ben's career may have been the fight against Cedric Paino, which was a life and death encounter, but saw the young Londoner hit the deck twice, but ultimately showed the passion and intensity and come back and scrape a narrow points win. Now, Conor Ben did get the rematch Paino a few fights later and did go on and win a comfortable points decision to emphasise the learning and developing and maturing he was doing as a fighter. It is really his last two fights that have shown that Ben may have world-class potential. He completely outclassed and dominated Sebastian Formella. He beat the German in a lot better manner than a Sean Porter did. And then he followed up on this performance by taking up Samuel Vargas in a round. He took Vargas up quicker than a Virgil Ortiz Jr. and Errol Spence could manage. Now I believe a lot of credit has to go to his trainer, Tony Sims, who has done a great job in tightening up Ben's sort of previous winging hooks where he's a bit wild and reckless with them and Ben has come on leaps and bounds with his composure. As seen last time out, he does have a good amount of power to make a dent in these welterweights. In his next fight out to kick off fight camp, he faces another step up against Adrian Granados. If he gets past Granados, who has been in with Adrian Broner, Sean Porter, Danny Garcia and Robert Easter Jr., then it is another box ticked in his step towards going for the world title fight. Granados is for me going to push Ben and showing things that he should have and supposed to have learned in the San Vargas fight. The small intricacies which experienced fighters have that cannot be overlooked. There are plenty of fun fights available for Conor Ben. He's ranked in the top 10 with the WBA and WBC and though it is a very difficult fight for him, I'd love to see him fight David Avenison. That would be a great fight, especially after Avon Eason's win over Pretty Boy Kelly. This would sell out any arena in the UK. If Matchroom decided to take Conor Ben down the American route and he can get a US debut fight, then I'd love to see him take on a Keith Thurman, potentially a Sean Porter, although I think Porter has a lot more left in the tank than Thurman. These are tough, tough fights, but winnable fights. One man that I would avoid, like the plague, Jaron Boots Ennis. Avoid him as much as you can until there's a lot, a lot of money or a title on the line. Now, I do hold a lot of affection for Conor Ben. My first boxing memory is of Conor's dad, Nigel Ben, and his fight against Jeremy McClellan. And his raw passion for the sport, for life, makes him a very likeable character. With the amount of talent that is there in the welterweight division, I don't see Conor Ben going on and becoming a world champion in this division. There are too many fighters who are just that little bit better than him. He loses to the current champions, Errol Spence, Terence Crawford. Future champs such as Josh Taylor and Bruce Ennis also beat him for me. I could see Conor Ben though, stepping up in weight and winning a world title at £154. That, I think, is a distinct possibility. Saying that, I hope I am proved wrong. I really like Conor Ben. I think he's going to be the face of UK boxing. He is a fantastic fighter and a fantastic personality. I just see there are too many other fighters who are just that little bit better in front of him who've had the amateur experience to go with the raw talent that they have. Let me know your thoughts. Do you see Conor Ben becoming a world champion? Do you see him being a world champion of welterweight? Or do you think the same as me, he needs to step up to light middleweight? Let me know in the comments below. Ian Mathias for the more predictions. Thank you very much 